Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we're learning about a very pretty fish. It's the blue spotted rabbit fish, or as we always like to call them in the shop, the gold bodies. Prices on them, you'll usually have to spend about $100 to get one of these if you can even find them in stock. I was looking around online and I couldn't even find one that was available, so they're definitely getting harder to get. Tank size, I'd recommend by the end of it, 120 gallon will give him plenty of room, especially whenever he hits his max size. Whenever they are juveniles, you can find some as small as like 2 and 3 inches. So a lot of people will see them as little babies and think, oh, my tank has plenty of room for that. But they do eventually get larger and you will need a bigger tank for them. Hair level, I would say moderate, mainly just because people have trouble with the diet and they're also venomous, so you got to be very careful around them. Temper, they're a very peaceful fish, almost so peaceful that they're shy, especially at the beginning of being introduced into a tank. This one we just got in on a shipment, so he was definitely shy in the tank. They definitely take some time to get used to it, so you want to make sure you have a variety of food to try to feed him so he'll come out and eat. I'm talking anything like pellets that sink to the bottom, some algae. Make sure you have frozen cubes, flakes, keep everything on so you can have plenty of different varieties to give him so that he can come out and eat. Reef compatibility with caution. Now in my days of taking care of rabbit fish, I've never seen an issue with them in the reef tank. The only times that I ever saw a problem was ones that weren't fed well enough. So they do have a tendency to nip on LPS and soft corals as a snack, but I'm telling you all the ones I've taken care of, if they were fed very well, then they never ever nipped at people's corals, so you shouldn't have a problem there. Temperature, I'd keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Everything's basic there. Keep up with your water changes. Make sure there's no spikes going on, and this will be a very easy fish to take care of in your tank. Max size, they get about 8 inches long, so definitely a long and big fish to have in your tank. So you want plenty of room for him to swim around because they can be very active swimmers once they get adjusted to the tank. Colors, of course, that very gold body, and eventually as they do get older, they'll be covered in these bright, bright blue spots. So they're very pretty as a juvenile and very pretty as they become an adult. So if you know that one's older, they're going to have a lot more blue spots on them. On this one, you can really just see it's almost like freckles on his face, but eventually they'll be covered in those. Diet, so they are an omnivore, but you want to make sure you do have algae in their diet because this is going to help keep them full, and it's also going to help them stay away from any kind of diseases and overall just keep those colors looking very good on them. So make sure you got dry seaweed you can put in the tank and feed them, and then also make sure you're feeding them different meaty foods like frozen brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, there's blood worms, there's all kinds of different ones you can get out there. Make sure you're feeding them a variety of that. And then you can also try pellets and flake food. He usually will go after that too. Once they get adjusted, they're pretty hungry fish in the tank. Origin, they do come from Indonesia. Compatibility, just ask. They can be kept with a mated pair but they cannot be housed with other species of rabbit fish. They'll definitely fight. They always get very territorial over that, but if you put two of the same, they should be fine. The great thing about these is they can be in a variety of different tank settings, so their compatibility is very wide. So you can put them in reefs, you can put them in fowler tanks, you know, fish only with live rock, and you can even put them in predator tanks with triggers and lionfish and eels and Usually the predators will not go after them because they see those fins and they know they're poisonous on top. Jumping right into that, venomous, yes, so they do have those top spines that you'll see flick constantly throughout the day, especially whenever they feel threatened, you'll see them come up real heavy. And if you were to get poked by those or if another fish was to get poked by those, it would have some venom go in you. So they are a venomous fish that you want to be careful around. Now, they will not chase you down to try to sting you if you're in the tank. Most of the times when we've gotten stung by them is whenever we don't look at see where they're at before getting into the tank, and then we reach our hand around the rock and he's back there hiding. That's whenever you get stung. So as long as you're being careful, checking to see where he is before you dunk your hand in there, you'll be just fine. Now, transferring them from, you know, into the bag, into the tank, be very careful. Use a net or dump them from the bag just directly into the tank and definitely save you from any kind of stinging going on because they will be 
a little stressed out coming into the new tank. Other than that, that pretty much hits on everything you need to know to take care of this beautiful blue spotted rabbit fish. He's definitely shy in the video. He was new, so he wasn't really wanting to show off for us. But over time, they do get very, very excited in the tank, and you can see them running left to right all throughout the day. Make sure you're feeding them plenty. That way, he doesn't mess with your corals. And other than that, you know, it's just a great fish for anybody that's a beginner, in the middle, or all the way up to expert. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.